Hey everybody, House here. Um, just going to do a quick hunt today. It's a beautiful day out. I just had to get out and enjoy it. All the snow is pretty much gone, uh, as you can see. Um, it's about 63 degrees. Beautiful. Very, very nice day. So I'm going to take advantage of it and then uh, we're going to see. Maybe I can find a couple things here. Be a short hunt. And then this weekend, um, I got a couple, uh, couple good places coming up that uh, got high hopes for so stay tuned let's see if we can find anything today let's go get it okay this is my uh, first good signal had a couple other ones which just turned out to be some scrap aluminum which I figured it was but uh, I dug them anyway and that's that's what it was aluminum nothing nothing great um, but here I'm in this hedgerow where a lot of this field got got pushed at one time long ago and so I figured well let me let me try to get into this brush here some of these high spots and sure enough didn't take me long to hit this one here and uh, this looks like some type of looks like a button but it's it's weird it's got a hole in it So I'm going to have to take a better look at it. It looks just like a an old button, but it's got a hole in it. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this. Alright, well, we'll have to clean this up later. Whoops. We'll have to clean this up later and see what we can find out about it. Okay, let's go get some more of this stuff. Okay, everybody. Well, we're back, and uh, just got another good signal here. Coming up like probably a button or something. It's in here someplace. So let's see if we can find it. <coughs> Come on. There we go. Uh, where is it here? Not that. Is this it? it? Looks like something. No. Nope. Hmm. Yeah, that's what it is. Looks like a piece of. I don't know what it is. Just a piece of aluminum or something. Strange looking piece. Eh, looks like something modern. Okay, we'll stick it in the bag and keep going. Okay, well, I'm just about striking out today. Only got some trash. Haven't found any coins. So I come home and I'm in my backyard just messing around here. And I find this. Now, this looks like an old copper. And I am literally about 15 yards from my garage. It's definitely an old copper. Right now I can't see anything on it, which is typical. I do see a few markings at this point, yes, okay. I see there's some markings there definitely. Hmm. I can't see it off camera and I can't see it on camera. Alright, well I'm gonna suspect this is a large scent. But, um, wow. All right, well, I'm going to have to play doctor and clean this thing up. All right, cool find. Can't believe I found it in my backyard. All right, we'll be back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. 
um, I cleaned up this coin I found and I am absolutely stunned and I'm going to show it to you this without any doubt is a King George the second half penny 1737 I've looked at it under a jeweler's uh, magnifying glass and uh, the lettering all is there completely. You can see the bust there facing left of uh, King George and the reverse you can you can see the reverse you can see the details there pretty well. Um, I am absolutely stunned. Again the date right on the bottom don't know if you can make it out. I am absolutely stunned and why is because this was found and I mean literally like 15 feet from my garage or the rear of my house in the backyard. Now I know this this ground at least in the front has been turned over when they built this house it was in 1964. The back has been you know moved around a little bit I'm sure but I did not expect this. This is absolutely crazy. So I wanted to make sure you saw that. Definitely a King George II. 1790 or 1737, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's go find some more. I'm gonna go out uh, in the woods here a little bit and see if I can find anything. It's starting to rain now, see if I can get it done. Hey everybody, well listen, uh, I decided to really go over my lawn real good in the back here. I've been to some places in the lawn that I've never been to before. And I just came up with this. Um, it was in one piece when I dug it up and it just, I picked it up and it basically fell apart. But I think this is a two piece button. Um, I'll have to clean it up and look at it better, but uh, I'm always pretty sure that this is a two piece button. And uh, one of the pieces is gone on it. Um, but I'm going to dig around. Maybe I can find the other side of it, um, but we'll have to see. So um, I'm going to keep going, and let's see what else we can find. Uh, I'll get back to you. Okay, well, only a few inches from my last hole with that uh, piece from the two-sided button. Uh, I came up with this. I thought maybe it was the other side of it, but uh, this is just an old shotgun shell. Head stamped, so... All right, we'll take it, we'll stick it in the bag, and off we go again. Okay, everybody, back. Just found a, uh, a bullet. It looks like um, about a 9 millimeter. It's about 4 inches in the ground. I can't read any writing on it yet, anyway, uh, to see what kind it is. But it looks like a 9 millimeter, something to that effect. Pretty cool. Somebody dropped their bullet. So, anyway, on to the next. Ah, interesting little piece. Big piece of scrap metal. It has the shape of a car frame rail. Don't know exactly what it is, but that's what it looks like. But anyway, uh, Pretty deep down the ground there. Didn't come up very good, but I figured I'd dig it anyway, see what it was. Never know about these old relics. So that's interesting. I'll uh, at least be able to get rid of it. So, all right, let's keep going, see what we get. Hey everybody, house here. Um, we are on a, well, we're in a section of woods uh, where there is an old, Colonial Road here. You can see the the rocks piled up here. These are it's really crazy. It's very very tall, but there's two sides, and it goes straight up through there. So we're going to head that way, 
and follow it and we're going to detect along some of these rock walls. This is an old roadway but there's some other uh, rock walls that branch off of this so we're going to check it out. Really cool. Not many people have seen this place. This is way back out in the middle of nowhere. All right, uh, let's get going and uh, we'll see what we, we come up with. Stay tuned. Okay, everybody, you can see uh, the walls in front of me. I'm just off the road. Uh, when I'm inside the road, the road, the walls are actually a lot higher than I am and I'm over six feet. But you can see it goes up this way. Some big old trees here. That's where we kind of started. I found a little S hook just a minute ago right there in the ground and uh, went a few feet, got another signal here and coming up with a button. There's the shank on the back, you can see it. Pretty nice, it's a pretty big button. It's heavy, it's not, uh, it's not thin or anything. Pretty nice. Pretty. It's very smooth too. Sharp. Very nice button. Okay, I'm psyched. Haven't even been uh, working this ground here for 10 minutes, and I'm already finding stuff. So uh, I'm going to keep going. Let's see what else we can get. I'm hoping to pull some coins out of here. All right, let's go. Man, oh man, I am in a hot spot and on a streak right now. Look at this sucker I just found. Holy haystacks. This thing's huge. Don't know what it is. It rang up as a quarter. And I can't see because I forgot my glasses, like always. Dummy me. Let's see if I can get something off of it. Just can't see. I see some stuff, but not everything. All right, let me see if I can clean this up and I'll get right back to you. Hang on. Don't. All right, I'm back. Well, here's what we got. It's definitely a large scent. I can't make out the front of here. I don't know if it's a state copper or what. Um, definitely some markings on it. I just can't make them out. Um, but the back side, as you can see, uh, definitely a large scent. So I'm going to pack this up and uh, we'll clean it up later and we'll see better what we got. And I'm going to keep going here. I'm going to find some more coins. I'm psyched. Okay, well, we jumped the, uh, the wall, or I should say the top of the road here, uh, which is back here. We came from that direction. And there's a road down in there real deep. You can't really see it, but it's down there on the other side of those rocks. Now, this wall here goes up this way, and this is just a wall. It is just a wall that they uh, piled stones up, uh, clearing a field. So, we're going to continue to look along these walls, and that road keeps going up that way on the other side of this wall here, and we'll see where that goes also. Um, okay, we're going to keep looking. Okay, everybody, just checking in. Um, this is a crazy wall. Look at the, the size of the boulders that are on this wall here. That once upon a time they had to move these things. And it's just, it's just incredible. Crazy. I could see the, you know, the oxen and chains and everything. Pulling these things, dragging them. This wall is insane. Let me give you an idea what this thing looks like from the top, put it, as long as I don't fall first. Okay, but look at that. Isn't that insane? It's so crazy. And here's the, the lower side. And there's nothing around here. But really, really cool. All right, so let's go back down here. <coughs> I'll show you. What I just came up with. I've been finding a lot of shotgun shells. This is the first small relic I found uh, in the last half hour probably, but nothing big, but uh, nice big 
big nail here. Uh, it is a square nail. Pretty cool. It's an old one. It's down about four inches. So, all right, I'm going to get into some uh, other stuff. Uh, I'm going to head back down to where the road was and uh, see what else I can find down that way. And I think there's a structure, an old structure, uh, not too far from here. I'm going to go check that out also. So, all right, we'll be back. Okay, everybody. Well, I got to the first structure, as you can see. Pretty cool. I don't know what this was, but uh, it's a small structure. You can, you can easily see foundation right here. You get a lot of iron hits and signals now, so I'm hoping to pick up on something good. I haven't found anything quite yet. There's the inside of it. I don't know what this was. But it's been here a long time. So up on the top of the wall here. Let's see. Let's see what else we can see here. I see another structure back in there. It looks like part of a wall. I'll have to check that out. I got a lot of ground here to cover around this. And then down there is either another structure or another rock wall. It looks pretty it looks pretty contained like it is a found like a foundation of something. We'll find out. Uh, it's crazy up here. It's pretty neat. I've been up here before on one or two occasions, but I haven't gone to the extent of uh, really getting into this. But uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff in here. It's a lot of old history. So, all right, well, uh, I'm going to shut this off and uh, see what I can find here. I'm getting a lot of signals. The trick is just trying to get a good one. So, all right, we'll be back in a bit. Okay. I'm in the thick of it here. <laughs> I'm sitting right in the middle of this place. Pretty cool. Um, it's a small area, tight and a lot of rocks, but just really chase this sucker down. And uh, really nice uh, part of a spoon, nice spoon bowl. You can actually see the uh, decoration on it right there where the handle was attached. All right, everybody. Well, I had a very interesting uh, couple days of hunting for uh, treasures, and uh, I'll show you what I got here. I kind of uh, go quickly go over everything. It's a lot of a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of iron pieces, a lot of scrap. But I'll start. Uh, let's start with the worst of it. Up here, we got a bunch of bunch of uh, aluminum and uh, just scrap pieces that I found. There was a lot of stuff. There's even more than that that I'm not showing. A couple pieces of uh, tin or aluminum. Um, we got, as you can see, a ton of shotgun shell head stamps. Uh, this looks like a piece of hardware, like a, it looks almost like a doorbell thing, uh, housing or something, but uh, I don't know what it is. Um, Dr. Pepper uh, cap. Uh, we got a um, spring, uh, spring hook uh, uh, galvanized or stainless uh, spring hook that works pretty good, it's a big one. Then a um, couple pieces of iron ore which um, are actually uh, very common around my area right here. We find them quite often. Um, those are a couple big pieces I found. And a uh, piece of wire uh, going across over to here. A uh, little piece of brass that I found today up at those, uh, that old home site, those home sites and uh, that old road. Um, I don't know what this is. I've looked at it. It's really no telling, although it is a little piece of brass. Don't know what it's from. Yesterday I found a musket ball, another musket ball. Yesterday I also found some 9mm shells. Here's a bullet that's not spent. Um, and a couple uh, empty casings from the same. So um, that's kind of cool. Uh, yesterday also a couple pieces of rod here, some brass and a piece of cable. Uh, this year, this year was a, uh, from what I can tell, and 
the writing on it is uh, Kearney Corp, and it's St. Louis, Missouri. And I, at first, I was, I was like, what the heck is this? It looked like kind of like a button, but it had a hole in it. And uh, come to find out, it's, uh, it's like a piece to a fuse or something. So, not quite sure what that is. Kind of tough to... Uh, to find out what it is too. It's, I researched it and couldn't find too much about it. Um, this is a, a piece I found yesterday. Um, it's actually broken, but this is a piece to a, a two-sided button. You can kind of see this was the back side. Shanks there. Um, the front side I couldn't find. Um, what else they got here? Um, I'll go back over to here, which uh, we got a lot of, today we got a lot of iron out of that, that site. Um, I don't know what this is. This is almost looks kind of like a buckle, but I don't think it is. I think it's just something that kind of looks like that. Um, it's got a slot in it that tells me maybe a buckle, some type of buckle or something that has a strap through it, but don't know what that is. S-hook, a um, couple pieces of iron, like tools or parts. Got a ton of square nails and things like that. Um, this here, I think, is a part of a, uh, possibly a pocket knife. Um, that's all I can think of what it is. That's what it looks like. Not quite sure, but I'm going to say that's what it is. A couple pieces of uh, iron scrap. Another piece of, uh, piece of iron from a tool or a part from something. This here looks like maybe a handle to a spoon, maybe. Found that also today. Uh, one of the better stuff, uh, this is like a copper ring, I'm um, not sure what it is or what it's from, but it looks like copper and it's just a ring, just a plain ring. Um, this here was kind of cool, I got a spoon bowl and my camera died out just when I found this and I was explaining it um, and I popped another battery in and that one died too so uh, I was out of luck, I didn't have my camera. Uh, for anything else. And I didn't really get much else after that anyway. So, But really nice find, uh, this spoon bowl. It's pretty big. Pretty cool. You can see the design on it. And uh, as we went on here, uh, oh, there's a penny here I got. Uh, this is uh, 77, I believe it is, Memorial. Um, got this really nice flat button today. And I don't know if you can see it. In the center, there's like a Kind of like a daisy design. It's got some a little bit of scratches on it from being in the ground, I guess. I didn't hit it with the shovel or anything, but it's got like a daisy design in the center. And then around the outside, it's got little hash marks and that, but really nice find. Uh, it's very, very smooth. It's like a, I think it's made out of pewter. It's a pewter button. Um, let's see, what else? What else? Uh, the only other two things we got, which were crazy which uh, yesterday uh, a really really good find and I was absolutely stunned by this because it was right in my backyard under my own nose um, only 10 15 feet or whatever from my garage and it's a uh, King George II half penny um, absolutely incredible 1737 this makes it the oldest coin I have found so far you can you can I'm certain you can probably see the detail on that as really really cool I am so so happy to have this this is awesome so that is really really special to me um, the other coin I found today which is a very heavy half penny turns out to be a coronet uh, large scent uh, the matron head uh, style and it's very nice, very heavy, very thick, uh, beautiful coin, beautiful coin. I was shocked to find this. Um, but this one here is actually an 1820 small date, and it's an 1820 over 19. This is actually an error coin where the 1820, the 2 in 1820, is actually over a 1. So, um, and you can, you probably can't see it on camera, but if you look at this closely, um, the two is actually stamped over one. So this makes this a, an 1820 over 19 small date 
uh, Coronet large scent. Really, really cool find. Um, I was really, really thrilled to find this. I found it early on in the hunt today. Um, that and along with that uh, pewter button right there, and um, really, really cool. After that, it was it was tough. We we had to fight a lot of brush, a lot of trees. I mean, it was really thick up there. <clears throat> but um, I'm really happy to find this stuff, and I'm gonna have to go back there at some point. There's still so much there to search. There's there's other structures there uh, that go back uh, way back, and they're just stone walls and stuff like that. Uh, I want to go back there and search it, but uh, not sure when. But I'm gonna have to go back there at some point. Um, but th this was really cool. Cool day. It was really nice. The weather was nice. Uh, here in New Jersey, and uh, you know, can't beat it. Um, there's a lot of uh, you know the, of the the grasses and and stickers and all that. They haven't really popped yet. They're starting to because it's getting warmer. But uh, it was nice because the woods is kind of bare still, um, and uh, you can kind of get around and see stuff. So anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I was hoping to get a little bit more out of it today uh, as far as coins and stuff, but I'll take it. You know, you, you, don't, you don't win them all. Uh, I'm very happy to get the coins that I got this weekend. It was awesome. Awesome hunt um, and awesome just getting out and enjoying the weather. So anyway, um, hope you uh, liked the video. If you do, hit the like button. And uh, if you'd like, subscribe, please. And uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. I'm going to have another video up uh, real soon. All right. Take care. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Thanks, guys. Take care.